welcome to the daily drama i am shine and this is going to be for 17th october 17th um here is the universe's advice for you both this is what challenges the masculine might be facing and how to move through them same for the feminine and then up here we have the message from the universe which is the, the highlighted message and I was so glad because one of the cards that came out is the reason why I even bought this deck to begin with just so I can say the word and plus because his face is just hysterical so I was happy when it popped out so now you'll get I'll get to say it and so that's the whole reason why I bought it just that, that one card and first message is the bottle here which is the magician this is the universe telling you that you have everything that you need to manifest a new beginning to have what you want to work that magic to work that alchemy to, to use energy in a positive way not in a way that creates blocks for oneself because we were getting the messages we were knowing what to do and again, telling you that you have all everything that it takes to manifest the next phase of your journey. And here's the card. Le Fou. <laughs> just say it. Le Fou. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's in my own funny quirkiness. This is the whole reason why I got this deck was just so I can say Le Fou. <laughs> but look at, look at his face. Oh, wait. Like, what kind of face is that? And he's, he's mad because the cat's biting his leg. <laughs> it's just such a weird, like, card. He's kind of, like, creepy looking. But, so just to be able to say, Le Fou, what I thought was going to be the highlight of my day. And it was. And then we have Le Diable. It's the devil again. It's, it's uh, unbinding ourselves. Getting, getting oneself unstuck, getting out of the shadow self, knowing that you have the power within you to, to overcome this. Clearing away those addictions, those stinking thinkings, or those codependent relationships. Be the fool. Embrace, you know, embark on a new journey. Free of, you know, negative stuff that's holding us back. Be the magician. You have everything you need to manifest this new beginning, taking a leap of faith, and again, getting getting out of the, the negative stuff, codependency, addictions, stinking thinking, whatever it is that's been holding you back, making you feel bound. So that's their overall message for you. Now, originally, I just wanted three cards in the top, then, you know, across rows of three, but the universe was kicking out more than three. <laughs> Which just, you know, this one I got three, and this one I got three, but on these rows, they just kicked out multiple ones. So instead of, you know, only taking three and putting the rest away, I just took them all. Same thing here. I only wanted three for the bottom. They kicked out five for the masculine, because again, this is his moment, so they're trying to really edge him on to make his big decision. Life path altering. Um, but let's, let's see what's going on here. We got justice. This is his challenge. This is either to get things to work in his favor. This could be justice system. Maybe some people are needing to get divorced. Or figure out a way out of something. We got the master. This is to master oneself. This is also to taming one's ego. And then you have the dark-haired woman, which is could be the feminine. It could be your current karmic situation, needing to get a divorce, 
from in, you know, you're met with this, or to get out of your karmic situation, you're being met with this. I said, either way, if it, there's no triangle involved, then this is the feminine. Or it could be both. Depends. Um, then you have judgment. So this is choosing a path. Which is what the masculine was getting. You got the lovers and the singles one. Or he, he, him needing to make a decision. This is making a decision using one's judgment. Which path do I follow to get what I get, you know, justice to be served in my favor? Communication. The lovers. So it's that making that choice. Deciding to communicate, deciding on a path, you know, overcoming the ego and our fears of being met with, you know, the dark-haired woman so that justice can be served, karmic justice, things can go in our favor. And it was justice, the lady hidden enemy. So the lady, again, could be the feminine. So it's justice between you and the feminine, because you're the hidden enemy here. And then there was the master piece. No, actually, because I went just down, so there is no really a cross. And this, this time around, because again, so many kicked out, so we just went down. And I said, why, you know, why the lady? And there was peace, like you want to have peace. And you're hoping, you're trying to have faith in regards to a new beginning that can be had with a home life. You know, wanting to be, you know, you had domestico popping up and you want to go live with the feminine. And you're hoping somebody's going to be generous. And you're wondering if there's going to be a barrier. Like if, if nobody's going to accept your offer because you've been taking too long. Even though know, that's what you want. You're wanting someone to offer forgiveness, and you're wanting to offer your love. And then you had hidden enemy, greed, greed, and hope. So this is hoping to get what we desire. It's like, but why you gotta come out as a hidden enemy, man? It's just like, that's not giving the feminine any kind of like, you know what I mean? Sometimes you come out as a hidden enemy. But this could be you coming from behind the curtains. You not being the hidden enemy anymore. Let's look at it that way. You're, you're the fair gray-haired man or the brown-haired man. No more, no more dark-haired man, shadow self, and no more hidden enemies. <laughs> we got to get rid of that. But it's you wanting there to be justice, so that's your challenge to get justice in this situation, to get what you want. But in order to do that, you're needing to give in order to receive. You're needing to communicate. You're needing to choose a path. Le <laughs> I just had to say it again. You know, get out of our toxic situations. Manifest our destiny. So that's your stuff. Masculine. What's your challenge? To keep hope alive that you can get what you want if you come from behind the curtain. And how to move through that balance. Feminine got balance before. And then we had temperance. So again, it's it's both of you needing to find balance, obviously, because you're both getting it, and it's the overall theme for the union. So this is third eye chakra. So you needing to get out of your stresses and worries and all that. And then you have throat chakra. This is impatience. So again, needing to speak. And then you got soulmate. The feminine got soulmate in the singles. Oops, sorry. So you got it. This is root chakra. This is about grounding oneself. And then instinct. I think the feminine got this too. Following your intuition, your higher self. Trusting your instincts. Completion. 
And the feminine got this too. In yesterday's reading. Needing to let things go, needing to let karmic cycles end, or whatever transpired in here, the woe is from whatever transpired here for it to end. No more mourning it. Time to take action, to change things. Out with the old, in with the new. Completion. And that's sacral chakra. So you obviously, you got a lot of stuff over here. You got almost all of them. <laughs> And then the other ones, you, you've had the other colors. So you need to work on all of your stuff, masculine. And we're going to read from the book with these. We got balance. Well, let's do soulmate because I just opened up there. It is time to face my true feelings. The legend, it is time for him to leave her again, to use the script he always does at this point. He even knows her next line. She will say, how can you do this to me? But unexpectedly, she says, I love you. The words of the script die on his tongue. He struggles to get them out. Just a few words, and he will be free. But they won't come. Suddenly, he clasps her to him. He loves her. This is the true freedom he sought. And that's what you're seeking. Because you want it. You've been wanting it for weeks and months. But you're needing to communicate. You needing to say those words. The I love you, or what I'm sorry, or whatever it is you gotta say, or both, all of the above. It's you needing to speak and face, it's time to face your true feelings and stop running. Okay. Inspirational message, to enjoy the beauty of a rose, we must risk being pricked by our inner thorns. Means you know, let go, letting go of our fears and, and, and having hope and opening our hearts. And, and, and the singles one, you know, the, the mass one was needing to open his heart, you know, not fearing being hurt, to be vulnerable. This offers a new way to live. The best incentive to change is love. You know, you realizing how you feel about the feminine is a little bit of the driving force for you to want to work on yourself because you want to be with her so it's causing you to go through your your dark night it's causing you to go through all your stuff and to reflect and to look and to grow so i said so this is all part of your journey it's all part of your process and and everybody applauds your your efforts the universe is rooting for you we're all rooting for you, everyone who's watching the videos. You know, it's growth isn't easy, but you're you're on your way. Just speak up. Just say it. Once you do it, you'll rip that band-aid off and you'll be free, my dear. Personal inquiry, what truth am I embracing? This card indicates no longer living a lie. Key idea is speaking your truth, choosing love, freedom through transformation, resistance to commitment, and an unexpected outcome, new truths, keywords, authenticity, treasure, and trust. Having hope, having trust, being authentic, speaking your truth, choosing love, not being fearful of it, not staying in codependent relationships because they're shallow or they don't require your emotional investment. You know, because you're you're afraid to open up, so you seek those. You know, embrace a new way to live. And again, the best incentive to change is love. So good for you. Go go after your soulmate, masculine. And then we have completion, the final sunset. A life comes to a spectacular close. Yeah, a, a, a toxic cycle, life. Spectacular close. See ya. El, uh, le, le diab. <laughs> no more, no more shadow side. Well, it's part, you know, you're at the beginning. I'm sure it'll creep in. You'll be peeking from behind the curtains a few times, but <laughs> at least you're on your way. Inspirational message. This is a reminder. Cherish all the beauty in your life, including endings. You had that bittersweet card over there before. 
Because obviously you got to hurt somebody in order to go be with the person you want to be with. So that's the bittersweet part. But know that, you know, when, when you're ending that, you're releasing both of you and that other person from that karmic situation. And you're healing your other situation. You're healing yourself. So it's good to close the doors on things that no longer serve us. Personal inquiry, am I present in the moment? How do I respond to the idea of completion? You know, are you fearing letting go or are you embracing it because you're knowing that? So something better awaits. Um, reflect upon your part in history. Look at holding ourselves accountable for our actions. How, wherever you are currently, looking at how you got there. The choices we've made. Our actions, our behaviors, you know, it's about learning those lessons. So that way, when you try to come back into this situation, you're truly coming into it having learned and, and ready to, to not repeat them. Do not fear completion. Embrace it. Discover what you value most. Honoring your legacy, a natural ending to a grand adventure. A new beginning on the horizon, a new adventure, honoring those who give to us, you know, appreciating people and the roles that they play in your life, the positive roles, keywords, achievement, determination, and fulfillment, filling one's destiny, being determined to achieve the very best. And then we have Uh, hold on. Impatience. If I don't take care of it, it'll never happen. Inspirational message. Now is not the time to make a rush decision. You, you have made your needs known. Now leave it alone. You may block something wonderful from coming to you if you are hasty. That's what they were telling you both before. No, no rushing either. Take it slow. Let things unfold naturally. The getting to know each other cards. Not like, you know, a shotgun wedding in Vegas. You know, really, really, you know, take the time to get to know each other again. Discuss things. Clear the air. Figure out how you're going to move forward. What have you learned? What things are you not going to repeat? Like be clear in your communication, what your expectations are. Again, don't be all so much in the woo-woo because now you want to just jump right in because you've made your realization. You know, it's still take things slow. Key idea is scarcity thinking, being exhausted by your efforts, success through patience. Personal inquiry, am I jumping the gun? If I'm honest with myself, am I forcing something? You know, again, forcing something being, you know, staying in our karmic situations even though we're not happy. Trying to force ourselves to fake it. <laughs> Unfolding, revelation, and success. Key, those are the key words. So letting life unfold, having those revelations, those epiphanies, getting ready to embark on your, your mission, your mission work, your, your relationship with the feminine, you know, and having success in that because you're following your instincts, you're balancing out the stuff that needs to be balancing, you're, you're letting go of old things that need to be completed, old toxic things. New, new you. And then, instinct. There is a guide inside of us. Inspirational message. Your instinct is finely tuned, so why doubt it? Your journey is guided. Personal inquiry. How can I master letting go and move on? Do I trust my inner guidance? You know, letting go of the old so you can embrace the new. Key ideas. Solitary journey. Spirit lies on the road ahead, being led by spirit, following your instinct. Keywords are instinct, guides, and awakening. So, 
Let yourself become enlightened, masculine. And let us see for the feminine her challenges, forgiveness. Then you have the stranger. And then you have ending. Now, it could be forgiving the masculine as they're coming in this new and improved version or claiming to be. So time will tell, masculine. Keep, keep that, keep that uh, focus. Um, let's see, ending. Ending, this was going to flip uh, Donna, Donna Maritara. So maybe his, his karmic situation ended. And here he comes in this, in this, you know, fancy hat <laughs> looking for forgiveness <laughs> because he's ended his karmic situation. And it was forgiveness, good news, and le fou. Well, this one is just the fool. But I, I wanted to say it again just because it's it's funny. Don't you think it's funny? Le fou. <laughs> you had good fortune. I mean, good news. Lord. Same difference. Fame. This is success. Fair, gray-haired woman. So this is, you know, a mature lady, someone in her 40s, 50s, or just someone who's matured through this process. And secrets. So secrets are, have been revealed. And they're saying, you know, good news or, you know, because this is the challenge. So it would be to forgive this person. The revealing secrets to try to be happy about that. To try to look at it as it was the success. And then take a leap of faith. You got the fool challenges to take a leap of faith. Just like here, yeah, the fool. Good fortune. Victory. Battle. Fair gray haired man and the strength. So, the challenge is to find the strength to look at it as a victory or to have victory and good fortune. You're needing to find the strength. Maybe the battle is over or any future battles. Unfortunately, but that's life, right? Secrets, precious gift. Maybe someone's telling you they, they realize how valuable you are to them. They value you and how precious you are, but they consider you a gift. This is your challenge. To view, view it as a gift, the, the relationship. I'm trying to visualize success. The domestico. So this is him coming in with some sweetets. Coming to tell you some sweetets. He was a little kid. Little kid. Well, he's not little anymore. He's like 30 something. He was like four years old. My mother's friend had a little boy. His name was Eric. And he couldn't say the word secret. So he would say, I want to tell you a sweet it. <laughs> so maybe that's him coming in to tell you a sweet it. <laughs> a sweet secret. But it was so cute. You know, little kids, they can't say words.
strength. You got stanza, which is secrets. So speedy. Someone's longing to be with someone. Or who has regrets. And that was on strength. That's you needing to endure the separation, maybe. Or no longer having to endure. Sorry. There's victory here. Battle, Mamika. Don de Servizio. This is a servant to help her. Again, this you this could be you. And again, maybe your your challenges to again, he might be asking for some kind of help, forgiveness. This could play into the forgiveness, helping to heal the situation by forgiving. Odd, fair, gray haired man. It's like your challenge is to persevere. I guess to not be fearful of the masculine coming in as this new, new and improved version. And here, how to get through this challenge is perfection. This is root chakra. And persevering. Same here, like a stanza. Sacral chakra and dissipating solar plexus chakra, not, not sitting in the shoulda, woulda, couldas, watching your life pass you by, even in the waiting, thinking of the what ifs and what could have been. You know, again, it's both of you needing that completion. You got this over here before feminine, letting go of the old and embracing the new. But also, you know, getting out of our thoughts and being more action oriented. Both of both of you. Let's see, where's my book? Dissipating. I am more than I think I am. Inspirational message. Beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell. Again, watch your thoughts. Do you intend to do what you say? Personal inquiry, a lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? Key ideas, taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses, procrastinating. Again, sitting in that, what was that other card that's that complacency. Putting your life on hold. I'm like, don't do that. Get out of that stagnation. Take action. Yep, that's right. Volume cut off. Let us get back in. <laughs> As it's 1 a.m. now. Um, we're on dissipating. I believe the last thing I said, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? Um, Key ideas, taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses, and procrastinating. No more procrastinating, ladies. So still, you, 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 the, the lesson is to do you in the meantime. Keywords, companionship, connection, and assistance. And then we had 
perseverance. Perseverance. Don't quit before the miracle. Inspirational message. When we do our chosen work, we are serving the highest order. If we stop, we upset the universal balance. So it's about being in balance. Don't let your life stop, you know, because the relationship stopped. Personal inquiry, can I ignore the feelings that will sidetrack me while I let go of fear and persevere? What you work towards will materialize. You may not see it, but it lies ahead. Key ideas, breaking through, unseen help at work, feeling taken for granted, overcoming doubts. Keywords, steadfast, success, and miracles. And then we had perfection. I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others. You know, holding oneself to, to, to the high standard, love and respect, making sure that others treat you the same way. Inspirational message. Are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in your world and you will see it. You know, not beating ourselves up, practicing some forgiveness here. It's all living and learning. Everybody makes mistakes having compassion for ourselves and others, key ideas, alienating others, feeling alienated, seeking perfection, deeply desiring love, transformation ahead. Transformation is always good. Transformation might be this dude coming in with his trench coat. <laughs> Keywords, uniqueness, friendship, and acceptance. Being in the present moment, accepting what was, accepting what is, and embracing what will be. And then you guys had for you both the advice was marriage. Oops, sorry. Marriage. I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself, and my partner. And then you also had family. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answers, support, and healing. And then you also had past life relationship. You have known each other before. You also had give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You also had victory. Yay! Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. You had victory over here. And then sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. This is again like the temperance, you know, for the both of you. Watch that energy. No more kicking out fear and woe us. You know, try to be positive so that this can unite, be committed to yourself, to your path, to your partner. You know, victory, victory is, lies ahead. To give your relationship a chance. Be le fou. <laughs> Be the magician and let go of the devil. The devil's a liar. <laughs> and on that note, oh, keep saying it, but I, because I, I keep avoiding it. I don't want to spend sixty bucks on a new camera, you know. So I keep just hoping it'll work. But it it's continues to give me problems, so I, I might have to invest. I just, just might. So I don't have to keep copying and pasting bits that got cut off. Okay. Well, I wish you love and light. I wish you well. I wish you luck. I wish you healing in regards to this and all the matters that you might be going through in your life. Remember, the readings are genuine. Uh, genuine. <laughs> that's, that's 1 a.m. for you. The, the readings are uh, general and it may or may not resonate. If you like a personal reading, all the information is below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Look out for the sing uh, singles. I just will be putting them up with this. So look out for that. The weekly is up. And all the others. And until next time, my lovelies, good night. <laughs> Well, it'll be good morning when you see it, but good night for me. <laughs> Until next time, bye-bye.